All right, it is time for us to check in with the queen of clean mm -hmm. because, you know, she's always showing us some way to clean around the house and just mm -hmm. use everything that we already have. She's very clever she and is. resourceful. Today she's showing us how to make a product to help clean ourselves. Yeah, if you've got kids or grandchildren, you can go through a ton of hand sanitizer. And you know, I always worry with my grandbabies, is it safe, is it natural, is it something they can't put in their mouths because you know where the hands end up always? in the mouths. So this is a natural, easy, would cost you pennies to make. And I repurpose my hand sanitizer bottles that I've had before and use those to put it in. So let me show you how quick and easy this is to do. I have one quarter cup of aloe vera gel. Now you can just buy this at the drugstore. It's not expensive. It's the kind of stuff you use after a bad sunburn. And we're going to put that into a container. To that, we're going to add one teaspoon of 91% rubbing alcohol. Now, 91% rubbing alcohol is stronger than regular rubbing alcohol, but you find it right in the drugstore. It's not a problem. To that, I'm going to add one half teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. Look that at drugstores. Amazon carries the two, and we're just going to put that in with it. Then what I do is first, I'm going to give it like a little stir, just like this, just to get it mixed up together, all of the ingredients. Then, to that, I'm going to add essential oil. Now, I like to use something, of course, that has antimicrobial properties. So we've got our lemon, our lime, we've got our basil, and I'm going to do maybe 10 or so drops. And you know what? If you like a lot of it, you can use it. It's not going to hurt anybody. Now, we're going to whip that again with our little whisk like this. Then, we're going to add just enough water to get it to the spreading consistency. So I always start with a dash. Because, you know, if you get too much, you have to kind of start and add more ingredients to catch up. So we're going to put that together and we're going to just start mixing it. All righty. Now I've got it mixed up. And here I have one of my hand sanitizer bottles that I've used before. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to start putting in. Now it's going to take a couple minutes for it to drain through because obviously it's a little thicker. But I put it in and then I usually just take my spoon and kind of tap it down until it goes through. Then with this one, I'm just gonna put my lid back on and I'm good to go. When you're done, it smells great, it works great. It's the best natural hand sanitizer you'll ever use. You never have to worry about the kids or you putting your fingers in your mouth. For more information, go to queenofclean.com. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean. She is always so clever. And I feel like a lot of us, you know, during the pandemic, we were using so much hand sanitizer. And remember, it was drying our oh, hands out. Dry. Yeah, well, and, mm. and I'm back, too, because it is that... Yeah, I've I mean, been doing a lot of that, too. Yeah, the germs are spreading all over. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so it's like I'm back down to, like, trying to wipe down everything uh -huh. and all the surfaces. And yeah. Went and, got, uh, went, went and got my flu shot. So I was like, you know what I mean? So you <laughs> so are, you are take really off. prepared. Well, I, it's, it was so convenient. They did like a little drive-through clinic. So just oh, went and took good. care of it because I, I feel still like, need to get mine. Well, I feel like it's hitting earlier this mm -hmm. year too. So, yep. um, you know, got to make sure that we're just right. Stay as healthy clean, as clean, we clean can. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, every day, more than 1,000 children wor 